With learning institutions closed for over a month and a half now, following government's directives to curb the spread of coronavirus, the school calendar has since been disrupted. Despite efforts by the Ministry of Education to create digital content and even using broadcast platforms to keep the learning process going, questions have been raised on how the less privileged children will access the digital platforms for learning considering the pinching economic situation. With less than 10% of learners on e-learning in the country, Education CS George Magoha has called upon members of parliament to come on board and aid in coming up with measures to handle the challenges hitting the education sector with proposals to postpone national exams to next year arrive. So it is not because we are saying that uh, we are reaching every child, but we are saying that for those children who have capacity, the government has produced content from KICD, which content is reaching them, a sensible number. The significance of this content reaching them is it is stopping the children from being truant and doing other things. As to whether or not we can reach all of them, for now, ladies and gentlemen, and you know it, the government has the best of intentions and you are part of that government. Perhaps it is not possible to reach the children at our state of, develop, at our state of development as we are now. So the, the issue of whether or not we are reaching everybody should not be a point of argument. On his part, Education Principal Secretary Richard Bailey Okipsang says the ministry is doing its utmost best to achieve the balance in the education sector and ways to stabilize the situation once systems resume. And we have brought in as many partners as possible. We are now dealing with 35 what we call community radios. These radios which are deep in the community so that they become part of the players that will assist us in delivering education. Various interventions by the Ministry of Education, however, have faced objection from government officials, with many having little faith in the proposed means. Have they conducted any opinion poll in various regions to actually be able to tell whether the students are actually getting, because you can have all these interventions, but if Thank you're you. not doing an opinion poll to try and see whether the interventions are working and are being reached by the families, then you have no answer. Thank you. With the pandemic currently affecting the learning of 15 million learners in both primary and secondary schools. Hadia Mosio, Switch TV.